Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Hunt. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about the Einsteins for developers. So this is the AI tool and we will see this one by one in the action. So if you want to learn something new, so you can watch this video until end and please subscribe the channel for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my site and please turn on the bell icon as well. Okay, so I will show you in this demo like how to work on this they have org as well as scratch org okay step by step so before that we have some prerequisites you have to search this prerequisite or you have to enable this prerequisite in your org so what is the prerequisite here let me show you here so first of all you have to search in the google einstein for developer marketplace okay like this marketplace so once you search it first link is uh, is related to the Einstein for developer just click on this one and here you can see Einstein for developer developed by the salesforce.com okay and there are so many installer and overview of this Einstein for developers you can read from here like Einstein for developer extension is an AI power developer tool built using code gen Salesforce secure custom AI model use this extension to generate boilerplate of your natural language instruction in the sidebar. We will see in this action and one by one steps in our Visual Studio Code. Okay, so you can generate like Apex classes, trigger and miss code, use for this command palette or enter the your suggestion, right? So we have some prerequisites here, just you have to follow this prerequisite in your own and you can take this benefit from here. So Free request is like before your setup with Einstein for developer, make sure that you have this essential. Access to a Salesforce org with Einstein for developer enabled. So let me enable this feature that is called Einstein for developer in my org. I just open my org in the quick find, just you have to search quick Einstein for developer. Click on this link. Once you clicked on this link, now you will be see one Einstein for developer. Enable or disable based on your requirement, you can do that. I already enable it. Maybe in your case, it's not uh, enabled. You have to enable it like this. Okay, you can disable it, enable it based on your requirement. And you can learn like enable Einstein for developer. The Einstein for developer extension is available and download from the VS Code marketplace. We already seen here. This is the marketplace, right? Install extension in your VS Code, desktop application or code builder. You can install that kind of extension like as a VS Code desktop application or code builder. So if you don't know about the code builder, I already created some videos about this code builder. You can take it because it's a online tool, same like as a VS Code. Use Einstein's for the developer to generate boilerplate from the natural language instruction like uh, Apex classes, trigger, or Minus Apex, something like that. Okay, so this is the first uh, prerequisite you have to enable it in the day of work. I will show you in the scratch org how to configure the scratch org in, uh, after some time. But uh, first of all, we will see here in this day of Okay, so once you enable it, in the VS Code, I already created some SFDX project. Here you can see, this is the uh, SFDX project. And under the this extension, once you clicked on this uh, extension here, let's say this one, and clicked on this install one, right? It's open the uh, Visual Studio. So open in Visual Studio, just click on this one. And now once you clicked on this one, now you can see Einstein. This is the extension Einstein for developer. I already installed it. And you can see the icon, small icon here with the Salesforce. And you can learn from here as well, right? Here you can see. Once you install it in the sidebar, you can see this the coin sign sidebar. Okay. Once you install it, just click on this sidebar. And here I will show you this kind of each and every functionality of this sidebar, how to use it and how to prompt this kind of engineering. Right. So here in the sidebar, you can see the Einstein sidebar. Here you can see that this is a history bar. And you can ask your question. You can clear your chat from here. So suppose that I want to create something regarding my Apex. So you can write your query here and just ask with this Einstein's, right? So how to do that? Let me show you here. So let's say write an Apex class for count number of accounts like that. 
okay let me click on this ask here let me click on this ask here and once you clicked on this ask it's generate the code for me so here you can see uh, this is the count account class under the count account class we have the constructor under this constructor uh, it's created one list under this list is querying the uh, you know uh, sql and storing this you know list uh, after that it's uh, debugging the code like system.debug so let me copy this code and let me create first this class and you know very well how to create the class you can create the apex class like this and enter it once you clicked on this one now you can see our apex class is created successfully now one thing here just copy this code okay and please observe before that you can see what i can hear and in the bottom also you can see the one i can hear you can toggle it to disable and enable the you know this extension so just let me copy this code paste it here and let me save this okay so once you saved it let me deploy this code and let's see if this is the work, uh, working code or not so i hope it will be work so let's see so let me deploy this code first deploy the code to the org and i want to execute this code using an nvs window inside this vs code okay so just once you deploy your code you have to open here in the script section you can see the script folder right so under the script you have to open the apex click on this hello apex and let me remove it and uh, just you have to do one thing copy that class here and let me create the instance of this class and here like this let me save this once you saved it immediately you can see here like execute and debug let me click on this execute after this de deployment code so it's still in, in deployment wait for some time so once you deployed it you will be see this one yeah so after deployed this class uh, we successfully deployed this class now let me execute uh, this class and let's see the number of counts of you know accounts so just click on this execute once you clicked on this execute now immediately you can see the count of number of 13 you can see like count of accounts 13 so in the in my all we have only 13 accounts that's why you can see the number of accounts here right so this is perfect code to uh, count the number of accounts so let's see in the uh, all it's uh, having like uh, accounts number of accounts like 13 so just click on this app launcher and just search here like account click on this account and click on this list view for all accounts and let's see you can see only 13 record that's why in my code also you can see the 13 right we already see now it's time to write the test class for this uh, apex class so how to do that click on this icon like Einstein sidebar and just you have to write your query let's say write test class for the below code like that so let me copy this one paste it here and just ask him okay so we already seen this one okay so we already seen this one so this code is generated by the einstein's right so we already seen like how to create the test class using this uh, you know this code so we have this test class and i have created this test class and now you can see this run test class right so let me check this test class is working fine for this you know uh, this class so just click on this run all test and once you clicked on this run all test now after some time it's running the test and let's see the test class is successfully have the code coverage is uh, above 75 at least 75 but uh, you, you can make it your code more than 75 it's better at least best practice right so just after some time you can see running test is still in streaming mode after that you will see the test is successfully passed or not okay so let's see yeah so our uh, test is successfully passed and let's see the code coverage of this you know uh, pass rate is 100% you can see so this is for 
you know they have you can ask everything and also one more thing you can see the history and feedback icon here right so based on your history and tab you can search and you can expand it like that right you can see you can like dislike and you can give the comments of this you know uh, search so based on your requirement you can do that like this so this is a very useful extension you can try once right after that you have to do one thing once you've done your dev hub you can create a scratch or go and you have to follow some step as well so how to do that let me show you here very simple just you have to create the scratch org first so let me enable the dev hub first in my salesforce so just you have to click on this gear icon click on the setup and under the setup you have to search like dev hub under the dev hub let's say dev hub click on this dev hub and i have some setup so setup in scratch all enable the ISA for the developer in dev hub we already enable it and create the sfdx authorize a dev hub command to log in into the dev hub and activate einstein for the dev and developers for running on the einstein this this is scratch all and you have to configure this json file with this einstein for the developer i will show you here just a second once you enable it you can create this scratch all let me create this scratch all control shift p and let's say authorize a dev hub all first of all authorize a dev hub all so let me click on this one let's say einstein you can search like einstein's here let's say something like that click on this one once you authorize this all so just you have to do one thing here uh, you have to log in into this all and later on we will see the scratch all and now you can see it's asking this one so let me check my username for this one so my username this one copy it and just click on this one paste it here let me enter the password and click on this login and once you logged in it now you can create your schedule so for now you can see this is the dev hub org i just authorize and dev hub org here and authorize and a dev hub org here and you can close it right now you can create your scratch hole so how to create this scratch hole very simple control shift p create default scratch hole okay just you have to select and this is a project path and just you have to use like einstein's one like einstein or something like that you can make it like 30 days maximum days of this scratch hole so you can create like this and once you've created this org now you can enable some setting or you can configure this project.json file so under here i just mentioned some step under this config project this class the definition file you have to add this line of code here that is called einstein gpt for developer and it will be work as we expected okay so now just wait for some time to creating this scratch org and after that we will see this one in the excel so once you created your scratch org now in the bottom you can see the scratch org right so once you open the uh, scratch org or created this scratch org you have to do one thing under the project file and let me collapse everything under the, uh, please follow that step and you will get to know more about it under this uh, config file like project scratch definition so let me show you how to configure this Einstein GPT for developers. So you have to do one thing under the config we have project definition file, right? So immediately you can see Einstein GPT for developers is already enabled it in this feature. So you can see this kind of things, right? So how to open this and how to work on this one, you can do that. So just under open this org, let me open this org, the scratch org, and once we open this scratch or you can write your code and you can ask with Einstein GPT for the developers right so no need worry about it. you have to configure it because Salesforce already have this functionality in this scratch or so now this is my scratch or I just open it and once you open it now you have to do one thing just again you have to ask uh, this Einstein sidebar and you can create your code let's say 
and let me clear everything from here and let me ask her let's say write a trigger to stop stop dubli, duplicate accounts right so just keep on this ask and let's say so now immediately you can see here and uh, it's asking like uh, email is based on the you know email it's uh, written this code and uh, if you enter the again that email uh, in the record so it's throwing like error let's say the duplicate account so let me try to check this code so let me create this account trigger let's say let me create the account trigger and let's say create trigger or you can create trigger right under here this is the account trigger enter it now you can see the account trigger let me copy this code and let me paste it here and let me check out this code is working fine or not so let me deploy this code first in the O and let's see so it's here it's having some problem problem is in this trigger we have like custom field of the email right but we don't have any custom field in this you know account object so you have to care about it I select a name list you maintain like name list and just let me copy this name list here account name and just after that you have to do like existing account this this and name in this list okay so just paste it here after that we have to check it here so just let me save these things if any record is available like more than zero it may be a duplicate so just deploy this code and let's see in the action okay so let me deploy this trigger successfully deployed and let me try to create another uh, account record with this name that is called demo let me create the account here let's send you with the same name like demo as we already created like demo click on the save and now immediately you can see duplicate account right so this code is generated by the Einstein and uh, it is working fine as we expected but uh, you have to care about it all the fields and everything because this is a scratch org here we already seen how to configure the hub org and the scratch org and you can generate your code using Einstein uh, for the developers okay and now you can see my code here right so this is how to work on this you know Einstein's for the developer using this extension Einstein sidebar in the Salesforce and it's very useful tool so you can use it or it's a very useful extension okay so please if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side and also please subscribe the channel for more tech views okay so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys